of want to see it. A little, a small evil part of me wants to see it. I don't know if the people at home would want to see that particularly, but <laughs> no, one, no one wants to watch a myth or timeout. <laughs> We've already had like one on stream uh, a little bit ago here versus me. So we got the hero coming in as a counter. Pick. Uh, starting with the yeah. Must take that first stock away, yep. and as uh, Hero avoids the slime, Countdown comes out, and they're starting. Whack! Starting Whoa. with the whack. <laughs> I, I respect it, man. I respect it. Yeah, and make sure not to peek the mic, but uh, <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. What, what do you think about Hero like in this matchup? Like I don't. Like this is this is an interesting pick versus Dr. This is, Mario. This is the one that I was thinking where like when when you say someone wins a matchup, right? Like how does Dr. Mario get in against? Um, I don't remember what the half charge side B is called and the uh, for, for hero, but like that plus the sword, like it's just he just plays a zoning game. Like it's mid. Oh, that's Why are you funny. zooming from the from from stage? I think he top teched. He's not reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like the half charge side B, right? Okay, side, yep. And he gets like psyched up. Oh! oh my. Why do I keep picking the mic? I am so sorry. Ooh, Hocus Pocus coming in clutch with that, uh, but not, not taking the stock. Right, and Magic Burst is pretty tough. Oh, I will take it, yeah. Down B. Down B there will definitely take that stock at that percent, but... Yeah, like the half charge type B, what is that called? Like, I don't know, I don't remember the hero's name. It's like, name. Frizz, Kafrizz, Kafrizzle, or something oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, Kafrizzle or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that one. Ooh, up tilt. The, the Psycho up tilt? Okay. I don't know. Hero is kind of accelerated. I mean, he's got accelerated. I mean, he's already faster than Dr. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of overkill. Like, you could just run away uh, and just start camping, but. I mean, I've seen, like, some crazy stuff with, like, accelerator here. Oh, hit it Down throw. Ooh, Pill's gonna be able to. And two frame into the down, uh, the down B. He's gonna take that next stock. Um, he's got the yeah. Reflect. Sophist may take out two players just by himself. Sophist is taking five with stocks. With Dr. Mario. <laughs> five stocks with Dr. Mario is insane. He is developing the meta before our very eyes. Uh, the crack crack slash. Okay, up tilt into... Up tilt, up tilt. <laughs> I it's a uh, raw up smash. Gets a, just just a rack of damage. Just a rack of damage. That's what it is. Comic con. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's got the bow. You cannot kamikaze oh, in this here. mode in this at this stock because you die first. <laughs> the thing about hero is that like I feel like in order to play hero well, you need to have like at least a sixth grade reading level, you know, to be able to recognize the words. And like, no. do you have a sixth grade reading level? I hope so. I'm. We're, we're UCLA students. <laughs> oh wow! Raw fair. It will take out Occidental's second player, Mr. Famous. Like he took six stocks. Six stocks as Dr. Mario. What? What is his character? I don't know. I'm just thinking about it more and more. It's like Dr. Mar uh, Dr. Mario has like raw kill power, and like oh, yeah, he does. if you can get like raw reads, he will take stocks very, very quickly. So like that could come in clutch in a crew battle format. 100 percent, 100 percent. Especially because like in crew battle, you can't. It, it's not as easy to con ha to capitalize on like multi game conditioning. Exactly. Like you don't get that multi game condi uh, conditioning. You don't get those uh, uh, that uh, those adjustments mid game. Yeah, exactly. In between exactly. players, so you could. Kind of just move out, but oh, I think we have. Uh, is this? Are we sending an Oriole? Now? Yes. Oriole, probably, probably the best player from Occidental. I think so. Yeah. This Rob goes crazy. All right. Yeah, I believe uh, Pepperdine's uh, yelling at Sophus to take at least one stock here. If he can, that would be huge for that. I don't know. This seems like a very, very bad matchup oh, for Dr. Mario. Like though. he just gets zoned out by Gyro Nair. Oh. If he hit that bear, I think he can just that. Oh my god. What does Dr. Mario do? I mean, there's no extra credit for getting the zero to death, but it's cool nonetheless. Don't scream. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Dr. Mario able to get in some percent here, so that will not be possible. But Dr. Mario already at that yeah, 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 yeah. Who cares about percentage there? Like, I mean, he uh, got Pepperdine's first player taken out now. Okay, but like, Sophie's got six stars. I don't think he's. I don't think any of them are like. Oh my god! I can't believe he only took six stocks. Like he he put in his word.
Bro, these chairs are hella comfy, bro. Okay, I've got, I've got chat here. Oh, you have chat now? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Alright, let's see who Pepperdine sends in next. So Ooh, they are sending in Soros. Ah, uh, Soros, the Joker player. Joker player. Joker against Rog. I think it's even. You think it's even? No. <laughs> That's me coping. <laughs> I think Joker's like plus one, maybe. Robert Mishima. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's plus one because Joker has like, can combo them for eternity, but Rob always has that X Factor, the, the you know, drag you off the side and kill you at 50 with side defense. Alright, playing neutral. Oh, I don't, that's not neutral. Soros is a pretty decent uh, Joker player. I remember when he came to uh, UCLA, uh, yeah, I actually had to play him around one, and I, I did win that, but then he ended up going in. I think he got fifth at that bracket. Yeah, but that will be death. That is very, very death right there. <laughs> that literally what I just called out before the game. Came to fruition. Hate to see it. The cast occurs. Come on, play Game & Watch. The Z drop gyro and an edge guard attempt. I, I respect it. Orioles yeah, is hard set now. So. Yeah. Orioles been calling a lot of Soros' approach options, a lot of uh, jump being caught by the gyro, a lot of like F tilt to land on approaches. I'll stay. This is the the the, the door, yeah. great recovery from Soros not to get out of there. Now how is he gonna deal with the gyro? Get him attack. Okay. Fade back Nair, I like that. Oh, the tether cancel. So, Soros is down a stock, but overall, it's still on Oriole to like, make a huge comeback. Like in terms of, they're two stocks behind, even though Soros has already lost a stock. So, even at this point, I'm oh. not entirely sure he's gonna take this first stock. If, oh, calls out there. Yeah. Uh, up air will kill. Oh, no DI! No, 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 not kill, actually. No DI mix up from Oreo? I mean, I don't know. I, I never think that, that the Rob up here DI mix up is actually good. Nair will take that, though, and Oreo might be on his way to a 3 stock, which would be very, very helpful for Occidental here. Yep. Oh, up smash. But, yeah, up smash will take that first stock. But now it's a 10 9, oh, 10 8 now. Which is still doable for Occidental, but if he just counter counter a spot like this. Oh. Panicking. Source is panicking. That's Ooh. that was a nice damage. Ooh. And the snipe will take that. Oreo took four stocks? I believe so so far, yes. Yeah. Not bad. So now it's a 9-8 stock game, which is as close to even as you can get. That's not actually even. <laughs> I can count. Alright, who's coming up next? Where is that? Sophis is coming back. Wait, what? What? Do they have? Are they down? Are they? Oh, yeah, are they down a player? Are he's playing twice. And is he playing DVD now? Okay, I'm bad. I guess this is this is how it's going. Sure. Doctor Mario. I mean, DVD is his main, but he was able to take six stocks. High vantage with Doctor Mario. See how this goes. So, both zoners. What does DD do to get in on Rob? That, I guess. Get him off stage. Get him off stage. That's exactly what he needs to do. And set up for those ledge traps. Keep on pushing that advantage. That's exactly what he needs to do. He needs to find that one little hit and just keep him off stage. He's already at 77, so. Ooh. That dash attack hits people holding ledge. So. Yeah, it, it, it's, a good, it's a very, very good two frame option. It's a bad dash attack, but on DDD specifically, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. Nair to back air, but Rob is heavy for some reason. He's got a 50% lead, although it is Rob. He can turn it back really easily. I think whoever takes this first, the first stock of this game will have a major advantage in momentum. 
momentum and then also weight is a huge factor here with these characters. That will take that up air. Yeah, up air calls up a high recovery. Sometimes it's a little jarring playing against these characters with extra jumps because you don't expect them to be able to reach certain heights. DDB is still living. But off the smash, yeah, we'll take that stock off. I mean, I, more or less an even game given how many stocks they started with. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if Oriole gets to take one more. Oh my god. Still hitting that, even through the, uh, the air dodge. Hitting the spike hitbox of the upbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like, I don't know, some of the, like, if you ever see a DDD clip, it's always them setting up Gordo into Spike up the offstage. That's like the go-to uh, DDD clip. Sure. Uh, if Oreo can take a stock here, even up the stock count for the teams, because right now, like, apparently they're down, what, one, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, beard, the beard versus inhale. Oh, good mix up. There, up, up, up there, up there, up there, yeah. Good DI by Sotris. And how, how will you get back up from that? Ooh. Just recovering. <laughs> <laughs> a, a normal DD recovery. Ooh, back here will be back nice, there. but from center stage, that's not gonna kill. This is Oriole's last stock. Oh, if he could take one more at this point, that'd be very nice. He goes for the raw back here, it's not gonna hit though. DD at 181 right now. Rob's back air is so safe. Put the extra push rag, it's like corners. Can he lift to 200? You think? DDD? Oh, 100%. Right now, yeah, but right now, you think he's... Oh, the down tilt. He lifts, he lifts. Because the he Gordo hit the it. Gordo, yes. Oh, but the up there will take that. Okay. Soph is holding on to his stock at 187.5%. That's really... You know, valuable. canonically, like, DDD is only like a foot tall. Why is he, why is he that heavy? <laughs> <laughs> it's really valuable that uh, Sophus lived there, actually, and yes. didn't die. Exactly. Because, again, percent still matters. Because he's going he to will start back up, yeah, at 0% on yeah. the second stock here. Pirate chip. <laughs> what? No, they're just hovering over pirate chip. <laughs> oh. Pick Lilat! <laughs> I don't think Lilat's illegal yet. It's not. It's it's a, that's the joke. Small battlefield. It's a fine stage for DDD, and uh, we have Jake01 playing Sephiroth. Sephiroth, uh, what do you think of this match? Right? I think it's Sephiroth favored, but like you could get cheesed like pretty. Like if you don't know what you're doing, like uh, DDD can stomp you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he messed up the up the off stage. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Countdown. But yeah, we have a we have a, a Sephiroth. Uh, one of our uh, one of the our number one UCLA player right now uh, plays Sephiroth along with some other characters. Wait, he does? Kaylin, yeah. Play Sephiroth. I've never seen him play Sephiroth. <laughs> so yeah, Sephiroth is a very interesting character. Incredibly light. It's like Pikachu weight. Yeah. Uh, he will get the wing. I mean, he's down. He's up a stock, so he actually gets the wing later, right? Yeah. So that's gonna be a, kind of a detriment. Like yeah. some of these comeback mechanics. Like I, I think Lucario can either be very hit or miss oh. in this format. Sephiroth as well. All of those mechanics that like those stocks differentials like make a difference. Like that's something I'm surprised I haven't seen much of this game. Is Sephiroth's down B. I I feel like well, it's called Satilla would be really good in this matchup. Like, do you think for, like, recovery, or...? To cover, like, Gordo throws. Down tilt for the two frame? I, I don't know, I feel like it'd be just too laggy, I think. The like, you couldn't time. really do much after, like, hitting the, the Gordo with the, with the down beat. Wow! wow. Calling out the up smash with the reverse up. He has the wing. Sharky? Oh. Okay, okay. So is taking the first stock. 
Pepperdine's asking to take one more. So yeah, there it is. Like, I, mean, I feel like it'd be really good to get off the option, especially against the in general. Both these characters really want to play in this like mid-range though, which is really funny. Oh, this is exactly where Sophus wants him. Just yeah, at the ledge. this stage. This is where DDD uh, arrives. Uh -oh. And yeah, that, that will hit ledge, so oh, it doesn't even matter. Sephiroth's just bad at this. Pepperdine's asking Sam to take one more. He, a beer version and hail for 13. Sephiroth's just bad. It's just a bad character. Ooh, shield break. Oh, ghost for shield break. <laughs> His shield's really low. Jake, if you want to go and go now, this is your chance. Ooh, that's going to cost him. Oh. Get him a disadvantage, but he messes up. So now we're back to, like, kind of even. Randy up smashes. Might just land. The thing about Sephiroth is he doesn't really have any like actual kill confirms, right? He's just good. he's just looking for a straight hit right now. Especially on the He still has a job. This is not where you want to be. Yeah. Yeah, down smash. smash. He's dead. Oh. He was across the he was the across the entire stage though, so. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's weird. Weird. Yeah. yeah. You should do that, yeah. Pepperdine is popping off right now. Sophie is taking <laughs> infinite stocks at this point. <laughs> he's lost count. twice. He went twice. He took six the first time, and now he's taking another one. Yeah, Four? and an Occidental on their last player. No, wait. He took, like, five. He took two from Oriole, right? So what? Is it 11 total he took? <laughs> yeah, so far. There's 18 stocks. Wait, how many stocks are there total? 15? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, something. Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah, that's correct. Because um, the other, their other player, uh, Soros, only took one stock. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. He's taken 11 stocks. That's insane. Who are we sending in from Oxygen? Who is this? Kazuya. Yes, Kazuya Mishima. How, how does Kazuya get it? How does Kazuya get it? Please tell me. He doesn't need to, really, right? <laughs> Reflector. He can reflect one. <laughs> really fun, funny instance. Oh, it's uh, FD too? <laughs> but oh, here's man. a really funny like uh, thing is that like from one side, if he maybe crouches, uh, it'll avoid electric. He'll, he, like, the hitbox avoids electric. That's funny. But yeah, Kazuya Mishimo. If there's any character that you need for a Kazuya Mishimo is such Kazuya is such a good character in, in, in crew battles. Like I don't know if you saw um, uh, SoCal versus NorCal at um, at uh, uh, Genesis, but like uh, Nito took ten stocks. Yeah, no, Kazuya is really good for that. Against NorCal, yeah. <laughs> These like touch of death characters are all really good. That's not the ledge. But yeah, it's very important down smash. that like product here. Oh, holds on to as many stocks as he can, and that will be very nice there. Oh, have a call out. He will need to take out two more players if uh, Occidental wants to win this. Yeah, he's got to take six. He's got to take seven stocks total. He can do it. He took one already. He took one and hasn't lost any yet. Yeah, he didn't lose a stock yet. This has been going very back and forth though, so that's that. It's been very interesting. Like at the at the very start, like Sophus was like kind of clearing through, but like now, I mean Pepperdine is still like in the like in a pretty strong lead right now. But against Kazuya, who knows what could happen? He has a chance. He has one electric. I mean, it depends who Neokin goes, right? If Neokin picks a short range character, I could see it happening. You know. Uh, uh, disconnect your pro controller. <laughs> <laughs> disconnect your pro controller. She's Shulk. Ooh. Shulk. Shulk, I think, has some good tools. 
Like how does how does Kazi get in versus Shul? Speed art? Yep. <laughs> they died. I like how they both rolled right <laughs> on the first interaction. <laughs> that was funny. Alright. Playing neutral. Got 27 with the speed art. Uh, speed art! He's a lot faster, but he does less damage, correct? I believe that's how uh, Yeah. Jump to get recovery and immediately turn it off. Oh, up smash. I don't, know, I don't know too much about Shulk. Nobody plays Shulk in this game. Everybody puts him in like top tier, but like there's no Shulks. Speed art. Is that 90? He's got him at 90. What one, one electric could do it. Like one electric into something. Going for the side B off leg. Pretty common Kazi off. What do you think about the stage choice of Palace as Shulk? I think the idea is with speed art, you can kind of zone him out really easily on this really big stage. Yeah, like that, right? You, you feign in. Buster. Yeah, but it's also very FDS. That's true. That, that is true. Oh, Smash Art Fair across the stage nearly kills Kazi. Oh, oh, that's such a cool thing. Side being not being able to reach the ledge, and oh, Kazi will not be able to recover from that. At this point, like just electric up B, right? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what he's gonna be looking for. You know, that's something I feel about this Kazi. I haven't seen him throw a single electric. He kills him with a dash attack, though. Can Fitzhack do it? He needs to take five more stocks. He's already lost one. Yeah. Buster Art. Oh my god. It so might be close now. to losing an, uh, like an, uh, another one soon, so. Fuck Buster Art. Smash. Smash Art, yeah. If he gets one good hit, oh, that'll take it. Calls out the neutral getup. I think he did jump getup, or he did like jump. He did some like double jump off, let some off. Speed. Uh, speed? Okay. I haven't seen Fred throw out a single electric. I really haven't. It's like yeah. Raw F smash. That's, like he goes for the the the, the, the flash punch combo. Oh. I don't know. This looks very. In Pepperdine's favor at this point. Yeah, Smash Art Shulk. Oh, almost high sub Smash. That is hilarious. The thing about Shulk is that uh, if he's on some art and you take more damage or you or he kills earlier, he also like takes more damage or dies earlier. But like he's already up a stock. Yeah, I Shulk, and he, you know he cap out until he gets his Smash Art back. Especially if he has jump or short speed. I mean, Kazuya is gonna get rage soon. Like, I, I think you're gonna. Okay, flash punch. Yeah, you just can't pick him out with jump bar and speed art. Anytime it comes out, just don't. He's just not approaching. Oh, sorry. Ooh, that's what, this should be it. I don't think he should have done he that. He shouldn't have done that yet. Yeah, he should have yeah, went yeah, for yeah, uppercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uppercut yeah. would have killed, and you would have held on to rage. Yeah, exactly. Because now, well, 11%. Smash art. Uh, smash art after. Oh, my God. That's going to, yeah, it's going to. Not kill, but that would have killed some high kill. recovery. Oh, that was a really good recovery. Another flash punch. Up there, nearly does it. He got 140. Oh my god. Oh, it's pretty dire for Kazuya right now. That was a really important laser to get uh, Yoken off the left track. Went for the 10 hit combo. Backer is gonna take this, yeah. And this crew battle will go in Pepperdine's favor. Congratulations to Pepperdine. Uh, congratulations to Sophist. <laughs> for taking 11 stocks. <laughs> for being the uh, MVP of that of that of that <laughs> crew battle. Dr. Mario and DDD. That's a that's a that's, a, are, that's, that's a character combo for sure. That's a character combo that exists. Very yeah, very interesting character combo. But, yeah, I think we'll probably